Good evening. How are you? Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, Maricela. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rufino. Good evening, Luis. Good evening, Crisia. Good evening, Patricia. Jenny. Good evening. We have Hi. here Jenny. We have Liliana. Okay, thank you for coming. Good evening, Rufino. Okay, thank you for coming. This is the second day, the second week. And we are going to continue with uh, the comparisons and evaluation, right? We are going to have a little bit of, of, of a review. And thank you to the ones who send their homework to the WhatsApp group, okay? Buenas noches, gracias a los que enviaron la tarea al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, Les ha quedado bien, que bueno que utilizan la creatividad para pues mandar las tareas, pero eh, ya en unos momentos vamos a revisar las tareas de los demás. But it was really good, okay? It was really good. Now we are going to begin with um with, with a little review of yesterday, yesterday's topic. Then we are going to practice a little bit and then we are going to review the homework, okay? That's what we are going to do right now. So let's see, good evening. We have more people now. We are 15 right now. So let me share my screen right now. Okay, this is the screen. This is what we were studying yesterday, right? Just to check the apartments, right? We were talking about apartments, house, if it was well illuminated, if it was too noisy, if, it, if we had enough um, parking spaces and we were contrasting houses with uh, apartments, right? Also, we were studying about adjectives, right? What is an adjective? And we were studying about evaluation with adjectives and also with nouns. Ya habíamos eh, explicado que era un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Anteriormente. Y también habíamos explicado que era un nombre en la, en la semana pasada. Entonces, eso ya lo tienen claro. And also, we were practicing adjectives. Estábamos practicando adjetivos. Comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, and spacious. Espero que hayan utilizado esos adjetivos para su tarea. Y también teníamos uh, synonyms, right? Just to understand or to have more vocabulary. Because sometimes we don't um, we don't have enough vocabulary to to express ourselves we don't have like like how to say this teacher how to say that a veces no sabemos cómo decir las cosas por eso es bueno tener bastantes palabras a lot of vocabulary so we had vocabulary for these uh, adjectives and we had more right noisy private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And we also were, uh, we were studying uh, the formulas, las formulas, but that to create the statements like subject plus verb to be plus adjective plus enough. Enough, we were studying that is sufficient, que es suficiente, verdad? Que tiene suficiente espacio, que tiene, um, that we have enough parking spaces. We can use it with countable and uncountable nouns. Y también too much, right? Too much. To evaluate things like too much is an excess of things. Algo que es demasiado. Too, verdad? It's like a negative, um, let's say negative point of view of something, right? So we have uh, these uh, formulas and if we follow the formula, we were able to create these kind of sentences. So uh, you just need to practice that, okay? Practice it. Right now we are going to practice, but we are going to um, review the grammar and also we are going to practice um, the speech. And this is just more formulas. This is like very similar with, um, with enough. We were seeing there that we, we have uh, positive statements and negative statements. And this is also with evaluation with, uh, well, 
more examples, right? With the formula with uh, countable and uncountable nouns. And also we were evaluating our houses and apartments. So that's what that's what we were doing, okay, yesterday. That's what we reviewed yesterday. So that's what we are going to review a little bit today. It says uh, this exercise transform the following sentences using to, enough, also using the verb to be and other verbs, right? What we are going to do right now is just to practice a little bit of what we studied yesterday. And we are going to transform these sentences in a way that they are similar to the ones that we have studied here. For example, using too much or too many or using enough, like, like apartments don't have enough parking spaces or houses cost too much money or apartments don't have enough parking spaces like a closet space or privacy. So we are not going to do that, the, the same sentences. We have these new sentences and we are going to transform these sentences. Um, so we are going to do that right now. Do you have uh, any question about what we are going to do right now? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer en este momento? About the activity, just to begin. No questions, everything's clear? Everything's clear? Hugo, Astrid, Let's say Patricia, we have Patricia Veronica and Patricia Gabriela. Okay, so do you have questions? No, right? Okay, we're going to begin right now. For example, the first, the first one says, my family lives in a very small house. Now we are going to change it using two or enough, right? So try to change it right now. What, how can we say it in a different way. My family lives in a very small house. My family doesn't have enough space in the house. Very good. My family doesn't have enough space in the house, right? Or also we can say my family lives in, um, or the house where my family lives is too small, right? But very good, Astrid, very good. Number two. Her family lives in a quiet and safe neighborhood. Another way to say that sentence using two or enough. Otra manera de decir esa oración usando two enough. For example, uh, her family lives in a neighborhood that is quiet and safe enough, right? We are going, ya vamos a ver las respuestas, solo estamos pensando ahorita, solo para ver cuáles podrían ser las posibles respuestas, okay? So probably that will be a response for number two. Number three, the house is really far from my job. The house is really far from my job. How can we say this with two or enough? Volunteers. Volunteers. One person. The house is really far from my job. Probably we can maybe, say. Uh -huh. uh, maybe the house is really, uh, uh, really too far. Uh, uh, the house is too far from my house? From my job, yeah. right? From my job. My job. I'm yes. my job. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Rufino. The house is too far from my job. It's too far. It's the same sentence, but it using different words. The house is too far from my job. It's demasiado lejos de mi casa. Está demasiado lejos. Number four. The bedrooms are really dirty to clean them now. How can we say that using two or enough? Well, I think that, sorry teacher, because my sister are, are crazy. I don't know why. Yeah, but no problem. The bedroom is, is too dirty to clean the, the now. 
Very good. The bedrooms are too dirty to clean them now. Very good. Very good. You see, it's the same sentence, but it's uh, using like different words, too or enough. It's the same. Now, the number five is, it is really noisy on Sundays. It is really noisy on Sundays. Está, hay mucho ruido en lo, los domingos, ¿verdad? How can we say that in a different way? I think too. Very good, too. So how, how can I say this? The whole sentence. The whole sentence. It is too noisy, right? It is too noisy on Sundays. It is too noisy. It's the same sentence, but is using too. And the last one, my neighborhood doesn't have many people around. My neighborhood doesn't have many pupuserias around. Doesn't enough. My. Mm -hmm. pupuserias around. Uh -huh, my neighborhood doesn't, doesn't have, enough. have, very good, doesn't, doesn't have, have enough, enough pupuserias. Enough. Very good, very good. My neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserías, no tiene suficientes pupuserías, porque si usamos tú, estaríamos diciendo que tiene demasiada, ¿verdad? Como que muchas tiene, pero si usamos enough, no tiene suficiente. Very good. My neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserías. The sentences, have... yes? The sentences for uh, uh, po, uh, we, we can use the bedroom Aren't enough clean? Yes. Aren't? The yes, yes, it's true. Yes, the bedrooms aren't enough clean, right? But clean. we will, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we, we will change Many the. Enough areas around. Yes, exactly. That's the number six. But with uh, the bedrooms, we will, change, we will change the, the adjective, right? Instead of dirty, we will use clean. But okay. yes, yes, very good for Fina. And now, pupuserias that my neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserias. Um, do you have a pupuseria near your neighborhood, near your, near your house? Or you don't have pupuserias near your house? Yes. Sure. Yes. yes, right. Yes. In, front then, of in front of your house. Okay, that's really good. That's a plus in your house. And are they good or so-so or not that much? So, so sometimes so, so. I have stomach ache. <laughs> sometimes you have a stomach ache. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Another person said, okay. I have three pupuserias near my house, but only one is good. The other two, they are so sorry. Right? They are not that good. But they, if, if you're hungry, they are good. Okay. Very good. Now we are going to check the. Um, the answers, right? The possible answers, because we can uh, have a lot of answers to these sentences, right? These are the, the answers. My family lives in a small house, like another uh, of our, of, uh, like Sandra, I guess, or yes, Astrid, sorry, said my house is too small for my family, or she said um, there is not enough space in my house for my family. Then number two, her family lives in a quiet and safe neighborhood. Her neighborhood is quiet and safe enough for her family. So that's the same sentence, but using enough or using two, right? Number three, the house is really far from my job. The house is too far from my job. Number four, the bedrooms are really dirty to clean them now. The bedrooms are too dirty to clean them now. Number five, it is really noisy on Sundays. There is too much noise on Sundays. And the last one, my neighborhood doesn't have many pupuserias around. My neighborhood doesn't have too many pupuserias around. Or my neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserias around. But we, we should know that too many is like a negative connotation, right? Okay, now we have finished the review for yesterday's lesson. Now we are going to continue with today's lesson. The objective is practice 
using adjectives and nouns to express comparison in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity just like, like just as, enough, or too much to modify adjectives and nouns for example, just as comfortable or too few closets. So this is the objective. We are going to know all of that today. So comparisons, we already, we already know what nouns are, right? These are some examples. We have countable and uncountable, right? We have space, privacy, lights, rooms, windows, bathrooms, parking spaces, noise, safety, rules, and freedom. So we have different nouns. Those are nouns, countable and uncountable, right? And also we have adjectives. Adjectives are to describe persons, things, right? We have safe, expensive, convenient, small, big, old, modern, inconvenient, private, dingy, bright, dark. All of those are adjectives. Son diferentes, ¿verdad? Nombres y adjetivos. Now, this is a little review that we are going to study and also what we have studied before. This is a little like table in which we can see evaluations with adjectives and evaluations with nouns. This uh, we have studied already, okay? So these are examples. Houses aren't big enough for families. So this is an evaluation with adjectives and we can use enough. Or apartments are too small for animals. Too small, right? We can use it in uh, positive or negative. And we have evaluations with nouns. Houses don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments cost too much money. Or my house has too many leaks on the roof. In the first one, uh, enough, we can use it with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. In the second one, we use too much for countable or uncountable. ¿Para cuál usamos too much? ¿Para contables o incontables? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Like money, right? So it's too much, too much money, too much space, too much noise, and too many for countable, right? The last one says, my house has too many leaks on the roof. What is a leak? Do you know what a leak is? No. Eh, example, goteando. Yes, exactly. Leaks, como goteras. When it's goteras, raining, yes. we have leaks right on the roof. Leaks, we yes. can have different leaks, like for example, on, on the toilet, we can have leaks, right? Fugas, like the agua. Yeah. But if it is in, in, on the roof, it's gotera, right? Leaks. So my, yes. has, my house has too many leaks on the roof. So that's the topic that we have we have studied before and we have a, we, what we are going to study today is comparisons not evaluations comparisons so comparisons with adjectives we have apartments aren't as convenient as houses and we have uh we can say it also in 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 a, in a positive way apartments are just as convenient as houses so we have two words there as then the adjective and then as right uh how how would you uh, translate the first sentence apartments aren't as convenient as houses ¿Cómo lo traducirían ustedes al español? Esa oración. Mm -hmm. Ap apartments aren't as convenient as houses los apartamentos, apartamentos no son, son tan convenientes, convenientes como las casas. Very good. No son tan convenientes como. So, as is tan, and the second as is como. ¿verdad? Tan como. Let me see here. And the same, right? Apartments are just as convenient as houses. Ahora es lo opuesto. ¿verdad? Los apartamentos son tan convenientes como las casas. So that is the, the comparison. When we use it in, a, in an affirmative way, it's like saying like they are the same, right? We The, the same value, right? We can uh, use it with adjectives also. We can use it with nouns. For example, we have houses have just as many bedrooms as apartments or 
uh, that is uh, we if many right we use many also with uh, countable nouns always right many countable much uncountable and we have that example there and the second sentence with comparison with nouns it says it makes as much noise here as it does outside la primera dice las casas tienen tantos cuartos como los apartamentos y la segunda dice hay tanto ruido aquí como afuera ¿Verdad? hay tanto ruido aquí hace tanto ruido aquí como lo hay afuera so we can use countable and uncountable nouns so that's what we are going to study right now for example we have comparisons here some examples right um, I don't know if you can read them because I have read a lot today ya leí bastante so it's your turn uh, volunteer to read the sentences, please. Just one. Just read one. One volunteer, please. Me too, sir. Okay, Mr. Rias. Go ahead. And then Jenny. Jenny, number two, okay? Okay. I don't like living in apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we have in our old place. Very good. I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we had in our old place. Very good. So we don't have as much privacy. No tenemos tanta privacidad como teníamos en nuestro antiguo lugar. Antiguo lugar. En nuestro lugar anterior también podría decir. So very good. So that is a comparison, right? Using an uncountable noun, privacy. Okay, now Jenny, number two, Jenny, please. I just can't sleep at night. The neighbors make too much, too much noise. The building isn't as quiet as our old one. Very good. I just can't sleep at night. The neighbors make too much noise. The building isn't as quiet as our old one. Que no puede dormir, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque los vecinos, ¿verdad? Too much noise. No and the building isn't as quiet. No es tan silencioso como el anterior. Very good. Number three, another volunteer. Okay, Miss Grisalda. And then, uh, okay, but then Valmore, and we are going to finish with Astro. Okay, Miss Griselda, number three, please. Okay, teacher. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. There aren't no windows. Very good. The new apartment. Apartment? No, right. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. There aren't enough windows. Okay, very good. Now we are, we are like evaluating right there. Number four, we are going to have Balmore, right? Read number four, Do you Balmore, hear me? please. Do you hear yes, me? yes, we can hear you. Well, our new apartment isn't big enough for our family. We don't have a big kitchen anymore, so cooking is difficult. Very good. Our new apartment isn't big enough for our family. We don't have a big kitchen anymore, so cooking is difficult. No, it's not big enough. It's small apartment, right? And number five, Ask it, please. The location is just as convenient as the old one, but there aren't as many good restaurants around. Very good. The location is just as convenient as the old one, but there aren't as many good restaurants around. Very good. So we can uh, see here that we can use as, as, um, in the first uh, sentence, right? The location is just as convenient as the old one. Es tan conveniente como el anterior, la, el lugar, ¿verdad? la locación, la, where it's located. But there aren't as many good restaurants around. Pero no hay tantos buenos restaurantes alrededor. Here in the second one, we are not comparing it with something else. We we just mentioned something extra, right? But very good. Now that is the, the difference between evaluation and comparison. But this is another way to compare things, right? It's like saying that it's not the same or it's very similar. It's the same. So that's what we are um, studying in the previous examples. As, then the adjective or in as, for example, is the same. This apartment is as beautiful as the old one. 
el apartamento es tan bonito como el anterior. Or in negative, right? In negative, we try to say that it's not the same. This apartment isn't as bright as the old one. Este apartamento no es tan uh, iluminado, podríamos decir, ¿verdad? Como el anterior. That is with adjectives. And the same happens with uh, nouns, right? As much as is with countable, un uncountable nouns, sorry. Uncountable nouns. Apartments don't have as much space as houses. And as many as countable nouns, right? This new house has as many windows as the old one. So do you have any question right now? About that? No, right? Everything's clear. Questions? No, so far. No. Not so far. Okay, very good. Now, um, in the platform, if you have studied this, uh, it's always showing you how to create um, sentences. In case that you want to create your own sentence, you can practice there. And we see there the, the formula, right? Comparisons with adjectives. Houses versus apartments, right? And we have the formula there, right? Subject plus verb to be plus as plus adjective plus as plus noun. And we have different sentences. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. And we follow the same uh, formula. Apartments aren't as expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And apartments aren't as spacious as houses. It's the same, right? So we can begin uh, creating these sentences in that way. It's the same. Can we use it in negative? Yes, right. We have seen their examples. The weather this summer is not as bad as last year. El clima, o, sí, el clima de este verano no es tan malo como el año pasado, ¿verdad? The pasta dish isn't as tasty as the rice dish. And also uh, in a positive way, right? I am as tall as my brother. So, soy tan alto como mi hermano. I am as tall as my brother. So those are some examples. With, um, with adjectives, right? These are adjectives. And these are more examples, right? With the same structure, with the same formula. Apartments are as convenient as houses. As I already mentioned, is saying that it's something similar. The car is as expensive as the boat. Today is as hot as it was yesterday. And silver is not, a, not as expensive as gold. La plata no es, tan cara como el, eh, no es tan cara como el oro. Entonces tenemos que tener cuidado al utilizarlo en positivo y en negativo. Now, this is with nouns because those were adjectives right and this is the um, the formula with nouns that is very similar right it is just subject plus verb plus as plus many if we use a countable noun and much if we use an uncountable noun plus as plus noun and we have two sentences like two examples here apartments have as uh, have as many rooms as houses and apartment Apartments right here, yes, apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. So those will be the, the examples that we have for today. Those are the formulas. So supposedly now we are ready to create our own sentences. And now we are going to check the, the, the homework, right? The homework is to compare your house with your best friend's um, house. So if it is, if it has many rooms as yours, if it is as spacious as yours, right? And we actually, some people send me, send me here already the, the adjectives, right? Like, sorry, the, the homework. And I have seen them very good because they are very creative. And let's see here, Carla, for example, uh, says that my house it's very comfortable and that's better but don't like because don't have as much privacy for it's very noisy okay now carla for i believe that you're you are trying to say por qué verdad and so we use because because it's very noisy right also another person is estela lara right 
she was comparing her house with her grandmother's house. And it was really good, right? So thank you for sending me those, um, the homework in the, using WhatsApp, right? To the group, right? Also another person was Carla Ayala, right? So thank you. But we are going to practice right now the speech, speaking, okay? We have a sentence here, sorry. We have a, uh, an example, sorry. We have an example here. It says, my friend lives in an apartment. Her apartment has as many rooms as my house, but there is too much noise. There isn't as much privacy as in my house. It doesn't have as much parking as mine. Nevertheless, there is enough illumination and security and also is pet friendly. So we are using comparisons with the formulas that we have studied before. I know that probably some of you have already finished your homework, but I want you to add to your homework one or two sentences more using uh, this uh, structure, right? As, as, and also for using it with adjectives and using with nouns. I don't know if you can, um, I don't know who did the homework right now, or I don't know if we, if we have a volunteer and probably you can add these, these sentences right now. If you haven't finished that right now, uh, you, can, you can add them, you can write them using this structure. So I just want to listen uh, to you, to your homework. And I just need one volunteer who wants to participate to, to express like that, to compare your house with your friend's house or another relative. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Who said me? Gabriela. Gabriela. Ah, Gabriela Cortez. Okay. Go ahead, Gabriela. Okay. Um, my house is smaller than my sister's house. Mm -hmm. In my case, it's a problem that my house has near a small a mall, uh, a hospital, bed, and another place. Mm -hmm. Another point is, or an adventure, is the bus station is near, but I don't like it. It don't have enough parking in my neighborhood. Like that. Very good. It doesn't have enough parking, or very good. It doesn't have enough parking. And you said that you have an advantage. What is the advantage? I'm oh, sorry. Um, ventaja. Yeah, advantage. What is the advantage that you mentioned? Oh, it is near, uh, for example, supermarket. Near the supermarket is near the bus station. Is okay, very good. Hospital, and bed. The hospital, okay. And which house is smaller, yours or your sister's house? Sorry, repeat me again, please. Yes, uh, which house is smaller? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál casa es más pequeña? Yours or your oh, sister's? My house. Your house is smaller. Okay, so we can say that your house is not as big, right? It's not as big as your sister's house. Yes. Okay, very good. So, see, it's the same sentence, but we are using different words to say it. We are oh. comparing, okay? So very good. Thank you, Gabriela for your participation. Now I need some, another volunteer who did the homework comparing their houses. Another volunteer. Levi Caballero, okay, go ahead Levi. And then we have Miss Griselda. Good night, everyone. Good night. I want to, I want to compare my house with my aunt's house. Mm -hmm. Well, my aunt's house is a quiet place. Her home is bigger than my house. It has many rooms as my home. It has three comfortable bedrooms, two spacious bathrooms, a beautiful yard. That is my favorite part of her house because I spend a lot of my time there. And also her house is completely different, has a completely different dining room. She says that is like the dining room of the United States. I don't know because I didn't see it, but it's too beautiful. 
Well, another thing that I like is that the place, in that place lives my friend and they are very different than the people that I used to be with. Her house has uh, an old windows and we can breathe the air of the place. I like so much things of that house, but the park is not most spacious. The park is not much spacious? Uh, I want to say the parking. Ah, Sorry. the parking, the parking spaces, yeah. okay. Okay, so your aunt's house is bigger than your house. Yep. Okay, very good. And you said that it has like a dining room that is designed as the United States dining room, but you don't you you don't know yet about that, right? Because you haven't seen yeah. it. Okay. I didn't see it. Okay, very good. You you mentioned different parts of the house, like uh bedrooms, um uh, a yard, right? That is your favorite uh space. Also, uh your friend lives there. And very good. It actually was really complete. So with comparisons using this new structure, we can say that probably his house is not as big as her his aunt's house, right? And also uh, pro probably is as beautiful as her aunt's house. Thank you very much, Levy. Um, it was really good. And um, you use a lot of words to describe the house. So you have a, a great vocabulary. Thank you. Now, Miss Griselda, go ahead, Miss Griselda. Tell me about your homework, your comparisons. Okay, teacher. Uh, I like my house because it is now big and to have two bedrooms and in a spacious living room in the patio. There is a cashew, cashew tree. Uh, my friends live to a small apartment. The apartment only has one room. The kitchen very well organized alone with the dining room and the ba bathroom at the back only. It's okay, very good. Homework. Okay, that's your homework. Okay, so uh, you you said that you don't like your house because it's big enough, and you were comparing it with your friend's house. Yeah. Is your house as big as your friend's house, or is smaller? My house is big with my friend. Is as big as your friend's house? Yeah. The same size? Sí. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, and you said that you have a cashew tree outside or is it inside? Uh, cashew. Cashew tree. Es palo de marañón, uh, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like cashew tree. Yeah. So cashew. Cashew. Tree. Uh, cashew. Yeah. Uh, it's um it's only a small a uh, small uh one one meter one meter one meter house okay sí. and does your house has as many plants as your friend's house or <laughs> which one has more plants no your apart apartment is small Mm -hmm. No, no space for plants. Uh, it's only, how do you say macet in English? Pots. pots small pots. Uh, uh, small pot. Uh, the cactus. Okay, only cacti. Okay, very uh, good. Very good. Yeah. Okay, remember pronunciation for houses. In this case, when we are talking about houses, we can review, right, our vocabulary for houses. Dining room, for example, dining room. What dining is the dining room. room? The dining room is where we dine, right, when we eat, right? The kitchen, uh, also organized. 
organized, oh, well okay. organized. Okay, very good. But there, it was really good. Thank you very much for your participation, Griselda. And I guess that uh, we have to practice a little bit more, but you did it very well. Actually, you can express your ideas very well. Um, now we have Angela Alicia Morales. Okay, tell me about your homework, the comparisons. Hi, mister. Good evening. Hi. Okay, I make the comparison with my grandmother's house. Okay, uh, my, my house doesn't have as many rooms as my grandmother's house. My house isn't as big as my grandmother's house. Uh, the gra my grandmother's house isn't as quiet as mine, and there isn't as much privacy as mine also. There isn't as much privacy as yours. Yes. So yours has more, more privacy. Yes. <laughs> okay, and your house is as big as your grandma's house? No. Which my, one is bigger? Uh, my grandmother's house. Your grandmother's house. Yes. But uh, if it is bigger, uh, I guess that they leave more people in your grandmother's house, right? Uh, <laughs> actually not. That is, <laughs> she is the only one she lives. Oh, okay. okay, she's the only one. Okay, yeah. very good. Very good. Thank you very much, Angela. Uh, you did it very well because you were comparing everything with the structure, structure that we have studied, right? Like it has, it has as many rooms as your house and it's not as big as yours and it's not as much private as yours, right? But very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another, thank you. Another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Who said me, teacher? Maricela. Maricela. Okay, Maricela Guardado. Go ahead, Maricela. I will hear okay, you right teacher. now. Okay. My my friend's house, my friend's house doesn't have enough windows as mine. But I really, I, I really love to visit because she cooks delicious. And I think her house is very comfortable. That's it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yes, no problem, very good. So you're comparing your friend's house and it just said that it doesn't have enough windows. Yeah. So which house has more windows, yours or your friend's house? Yeah. Yes, your house is has more windows? Yes. Okay, very good. And you like to visit your friend because she cooks delicious, right? Very delicious. Very what what kind of dishes does she cook? Uh, I don't know how do you say lasagna? Lasagna. Lasagna. The same lasagna, uh -huh. chicken lasagna or meat lasagna, like bolognese. Mix. Mix. Lasagna. Okay, yeah. very good. I love lasagna. I love pasta in Italian. Me too. Very good. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> and it's really comfortable, right? Comfortable. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Angela, for your participation. Now we have Astrid Flores. She wants to participate. Go ahead, Astrid. I'm going to make a comparison between the, the house of my friend and the mine. My friend lives in Ilopango and I live in San Jacinto. Her, her house is as big as mine. And both are located in a convenient area because have near the supermarket, the gas station, the schools, and but my house doesn't have as many restaurants nearby as her house. She doesn't live in an expensive area, even though her house is beautiful, but doesn't have he, its own parking zone. Nowadays, with the territorial control plan, the security has increased, but before this, it was a little bit dangerous to visit to her. And when I started living here in my house, it was in an expensive area, but now the prices have risen here 
And I think that in many other areas too. Okay, very good. Very good explanation, very good comparison. Okay, so your house is, your friend's house is as big as yours, right? Yes. But the area is very convenient because everything is near the gas station, the supermarket. Okay, and you said that the area is like not that expensive, but the prices has, re they have reason, right? Yes. When okay. I started to live here, the prices was lower. Mm -hmm. But now I are, are increased. Okay, they have increased. Very good. Increased. And now you say that the, the it has changed. The it's, it's safe enough now, right? With all the changes from control territorial <laughs> to territorial control, it's. Do you feel that it's safer now, or is that safer than before? In her neighborhood, yes, it's more safety. Okay, there is more safety. Very good. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you for your participation. You did a really good job. And I really like that you have been comparing everything, uh, the location using the adjectives, convenience, and also different areas. So thank you. Very good. Now, do we have another volunteer? Another person? Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Go ahead, Jenny. My house is smaller than my sister's. It, uh, my house has three rooms and a backyard. I can have my pets, uh, one dog and one cat, and a small front yard, and I have enough parking for visitors, and I am close to the supermarket and pharmacies. Okay, very good. So your house is smaller than your sister's house? Yes. Okay, so it's not as big as your his sister's house, right? It's more small. <laughs> uh, yes, it's, 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 it's smaller. Yeah. And you said that your house has three rooms. Yes. And your sister's house? Three rooms, but uh, more more big. They are bigger, more bigger. space. Um, more space, yes. Okay, so your your house has as, as many rooms as your sister's house, but... It is there is like more space in your sister's house, right? That you don't yes. have as much space as in your sister's house. Okay, very good. And yes. you have a dog and a cat. Yes. What is your dog's name? Kiara and Perla, the cat. Per Perla is the cat and Kiara Perla is, the, is dog. Okay. the dog. Very good. And do you live with your family in your house? With my mother. With your mother, okay. Yes. So you don't have children, you don't have husband. No. Okay, no. very good. Very Thanks good. to God, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks God, you don't have, right? It's another <laughs> headache less. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. And Thanks. another volunteer, or that's it? Is your time to speak mm -hmm. right now? I want to try uh, the last. Uh, Yesterday, I, I energy electric, uh, I broke it. Uh, yes, you I, had an outage, right? Uh, I don't, I don't know uh, the homework because uh, in this moment, I try make it, make the, the homework. The homework. The homework. Okay, very good. You can uh, try, Rufino, no problem. You can uh, try. Yes, uh, uh, friends. Friend's house, friend house has to plan. In my house isn't as big as his. My house is in a, a quiet place, but friend's house in in is a noisy, a noisy place. Friend's friend house isn't far as as mine of the San Salvador scene, more or less. Oh. <laughs> very good, actually. If you did it right now, you did it very good because you were using the structure that we have just studied. Probably you were practicing before, but yes, it was really good. You were comparing it with your friend's house, with your friend's house, right? Uh, okay. So it, you said that it's, it's not as far from San Salvador as your friend's house, right? Yeah. 
Okay, very good. And you live in a quiet place. Mm -hmm. Where do you live, Rufino? What is the name of, of your neighborhood? Uh, what? I don't understand. Yeah, what is the name of your neighborhood? What, where do you live, Rufino? Uh, I live in Soyapango. In Soyapango. And your friend's yeah. house? Where, where is the location of your friend's house? Uh, in near San Salvador and for, uh, in San Jacinto. Near San Jacinto? Yeah. Okay, very My, good. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. And you said that your house isn't as big as his. So but, your house is smaller. Yes, my, my house is, is small. It's smaller. Okay. Smaller. It's mm -hmm. smaller. But your house is as beautiful as his or not? My house is beautiful. Your house is beautiful, uh, right? It's beautiful, small, but beautiful. But beautiful. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rubino. Very good. Do we have another another volunteer or that's it? Oh, we have Estela and we have Lilian. Okay, first Estela, please. Okay, go ahead, Estela. My grandmother lives in a house in Cucatancingo. His house has less space, has my house, but there is a place yet and comfortable. I, I love the house. There is a uh, much privacy, privacy is as in my house. Well, I say <laughs> there is a uh, window, only there are three windows in the living room. I dislike my house because it's too so much hot as my grandmother's house. Her house has three rooms, a yard. One yard, small but comfortable. Uh, living room, uh, one living room, and my house to have three rooms, two living room, room a yard, uh, one garage, and one terrace. Maybe his house, his house is smaller than my house, but the important is that is a place yet uncomfortable. I love we mm, I love live with her because we go to her short um family they are to we that's it yes okay you were comparing your house with whose house Mande? uh con quien comparó su casa my grandmother. Your grandmother's house. And you live with your mother? Yes, right. Because yes, I, I, I was able to understand that you were you, you love to live with her, right? So your house is as big as your grandmother's house? Uh, the house uh, the house the here is more is smaller than my house. Okay, your house there because you have two houses, right? I remember yes. that you were living and you were trying to go to San Salvador. Yes, I remember. And you said that you don't like your house because it's too hot, right? Yes, I live in San Miguel. You live in San Miguel, exactly. Yes. Is it is it true that San Miguel is hotter than other places from El Salvador? Perdón. <laughs> is uh, is is San Miguel? No, no problem. Is is San Miguel hotter, hotter than other places in from El Salvador? Do you think that is true? Es más caliente San Miguel que todos los demás lugares del Salvador? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's too too hot, right? Too hot. Okay, but remember, yes. we can say too hot, too much hot. No, right? Because too hot is an adjective, right? Hot is an adjective, and too much is for uncountable nouns very good we have uh olivia i think that you're ready for your homework right are you ready olivia yes okay go ahead olivia 
comparison between my house and housing house. Housing house. I love my house because it is in a quiet place and the neighborhood are good people. But it's very far from my work, work and there is a lot of traffic and as small. Um, but this near hospital, uh, supermarket, gas stations, and commercial. Um, the house and my housing have a big house in a very prestigious and beautiful area. It is a very spacious, have four rooms and comfortable. They have a spacious park, but it's hot. It's too hot. She lives in La Libertad. Okay, very good. That's it, right, Olivia? That's it? That's the end of your homework? Okay, you were comparing your house with your co with your cousin's house, right? Where do you live? In which area do you live? I am living in San Bartolo. San Bartolo, and your cousin's living in La Libertad, right? Yes. Okay, and you said that he lives in a prestigious area that is big. Does he live... Is Does he big? live near the beach or? Um, uh, private. Uh, yeah. private. Yes, in a private, private neighborhood, right? If he lives cerca de la playa, does he live near the beach? So-so. Uh, So-so, yes, I imagine that. And you said that there are a, a good people and he has four rooms. Is your house as big as your cousin's house or which one is bigger? Your cousin's house? Is um, small, uh, my house. Is, is, is smaller, your house is smaller? It's not as big as your yes. cousin's house? Okay, very good. Very good, but you live in a good area, right? Because the hospital, the mall, Centro Comercial is mall, right? Mall, a bus station, supermarket, hospital, everything's near. Very good. And also, I've, I have noticed that it's kind of difficult for you to say comfortable because in Spanish, we, we can say comfortable, right? But in English, it's comfortable, right? Comfortable, comfortable. So we have to practice that. Uh, we almost finished, but I need to uh, give you the homework for tomorrow. I, I really like that you have uh, practiced your speaking. I like you to, but I, I think that we have more people that we haven't listened yet. So we are going to do like some exercises so you can practice more, right? For example, Andrea, Tatiana, Estela, eh, Alba, right? Uh, Paola, uh, also Mr. Rios, probably he has some problems with the audio. Liliana, yes. Hugo. Uh, I raise my hand. Yes, you raise your hand, sorry. I think that we are going to finish with you and then we are going to uh, provide you with the, with the homework, okay? So Liliana, go ahead with your homework, please. We still have yeah. time. Um, well, my friend's house is not big as my house, so I can say that my house is spacious than my friend's house. Um, however, his house is more private than mine. Um, besides that, his house is noiseless than mine, because sometimes in my house, I have uh, two cousins, they are uh, a year so they are screaming when they are playing so you can imagine but in conclusion i can say that my house is as beautiful as his house mm -hmm. yes, 
your microphone is off. Oh, sorry, right. sorry, yes, yeah, sorry. Liliana, where do you live? In which area? Which location? I live in Santo Tomas and my Santo car, Tomas. Mm -hmm, and my friends in San Marcos. Yes. San Marcos. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation. You said that you live in well, your friends live in a private area, but it's noiseless. Um, we can see that is it's not as as or your house or, or your friend's house uh, is quieter because noiseless is that there is no noise, right? It's very quiet. Is it like that? Yes. I okay, so it's so noiseless. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's noiseless. My okay, very good. So we are going to finish right now. Um, teacher, yo he participado, dice Estela. Oh, sorry, Estela, sorry. Yes, because sometimes you turn off your camera and I don't remember your faces, right? I just see that like, the blank space. But we are going to finish right now the class. Thank you for your participation. Tomorrow we are going to review that. And we are sure. going to, yes, go ahead. Can you send the presentation of WhatsApp group, please? Actually, yes. Bueno, me voy a decir esto. Yo les voy a enviar las presentaciones, ¿verdad? Esa es una presentación para ustedes. Si les ayuda, yo se la voy a enviar. Pero... Eh, traten de mirarlas si les eh, ayuda, traten de estudiarlas y el jueves vamos a tener un review, ustedes me van a explicar los temas que les he dado, ¿verdad? Usen las presentaciones para revisar, entonces por eso se las voy a mandar al grupo si les ayuda, traten de ordenar sus ideas, explíquenme uno por uno, yo voy a ir, ahí, ahí se van a hablar todos y al final vamos a tener un pequeño quiz, ¿verdad? Para hacer un resumen de todo, para que estén listos para el midterm exam. Esa va a ser la preparación el jueves. Todavía tenemos una clase este mañana, el miércoles, que vamos a hablar acerca de los wishes, de los deseos. Pero este, yo se la voy a mandar, eh, se la voy a mandar mañana al terminar la clase y ustedes empiezan y ya vamos a hacer como una rifa aquí, yo con papelitos o algo voy a hacer para que ustedes puedan este participar para que todos participen verdad entonces prepárense se los voy a mandar y estudien y gracias thank you very much for coming thank you for your effort okay thank you teacher thank, thank you, you teacher. Have a nice good night, night. Good night. Good night. right right